To date, there has not been an official acknowledgement by any level of government in Canada of the pressures that were put on unmarried pregnant women to surrender their babies for adoption and the pain that, and humiliation that it has caused them. Between 1945 and 1971, an estimated 350,000 Canadian women were forced to give up their babies for adoption simply because they weren't married. Ottawa even helped fund maternity homes where women were sent to to hide their pregnancies. And today, senators called that a shameful period in Canadian history. They're asking the federal government to formally apologize to the victims, pay for counseling for the mothers and adoptees who need it, and call on provinces and territories to make it easier to release adoption files. Now, the Liberals don't have to accept the Senate's recommendations, but many hope they do, including Annette Marie Stokes. It's been more than 50 years, and she says she still can't erase the trauma of being forced to give up her baby. I had my daughter in 1965 in March, and uh, she was taken away from me immediately. After a couple of days, I'm watching all the other mothers with their babies, and I said, well, where's mine? And they didn't bring her to me. I said, well, I want, I want to see her, I want to feed her. And they would, they bound your bra your your chat, your breasts with uh, cloth, so that you wouldn't bond with the child. It was a collection of different people. It was the medical profession. It was Children's Aid, who uh, they coerced me into writing, uh, you know, relinquishing her writing it. it uh, signing a document that relinquished her. And they said that it would be uh, similar to, uh, the effects of this would be similar to if I had had a pet dog and it was run over by a car. And I, I'm, I just to this day can, I'll never forget that statement that woman made. The trauma is, is, is severe. You're in a vacuum. It, it's as if you're in a kind of a vacuum. And uh, I don't know if I ever came out of that vacuum while I'm thinking about it. It was just uh, horrendous. I never had any other children. And many of these mothers never had any other children after, after the one. The apology is an acknowledgement. It's, it's saying, we, we did, this was wrong, we know it was wrong. It's just a whole chapter of my life that's gone. It's, it's gone. It's, they, they've taken your life away, really, basically, when they took that child away from me. As we mentioned, Annette is one of 350,000 Canadian post-war women who gave babies up for adoption. Do the math, and it meant an average of more than 1,000 cases per month during that 27-year period. 